Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. How are you? Hola. Welcome to the class. Can you hear me? Oh. Now I can listen to you. Ah, very well. Perfect. Welcome to the class. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And I apologize myself. This week was so complicated for me, but I I have bad that I can attend this class, the last one. The last one. Very well. Thank you for joining and uh, welcome. Yeah. Okay, let's wait just one more minute. Okay. We are going to make an evaluation tonight. Hello, uh, yes. We're not going to do any exam or anything like that. What we're going to do is this. We're going to watch a video, then we're going to speak about the video, then we're going to do the survey, the INSA for survey. That is something ah, that we're survey. going to do. Yeah, ah. together. Then the homework for tonight is the three words, of course, and then uh, you are going to bring a topic so we can speak about that one and practice it. And that will be it. That will be it for tonight. Okay, so everybody, welcome to the class. Tonight is the night. It's the last class. So it's good, but it's bad, right? Because It's good because we finished already, and it's bad because we are not going to see each other at least for a while. Okay, so I don't know if we are going to be together for the next module, uh, but if it's like that, it's going to be very nice. And if it's not like that, I hope I can see you in other module in the future, okay? Or if I don't see you in other module, if we see each other in New York, let's speak there, right? So let's say, hey, hello. You know, something happened to me. Sometimes uh, I I am on the street and I see I see students, but they don't recognize me. So I say, hey, that is that student. But I mean, since they don't recognize me, I don't, I don't approach because maybe they say, oh, who is this man, right? I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. So uh, that happens to me. Sometimes they recognize me and they say, hey, teacher, hello. Sometimes they don't recognize me. So, uh, or sometimes you're busy, right? You're speaking with other people and that happens. So, uh, but if we are able to, so that would be very good. And uh, before we go to the, to the class, let me check who hasn't finished. Okay, who hasn't finished? Alejandra Michelle Hueso, is she here? She's not here. I, teach, I don't finish the homeworks. Okay, you have to finish tonight. At midnight, if you don't finish, the platform is going to be closed and you won't be able to finish anymore. So you have to finish tonight. I I have a um I have also fi a, a finish a, a test. Uh, yeah. Yes, the from test. this unit. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I see that everybody, the rest is fine. Just Susanna, Carolina, but you're missing only. Let me see part of the uh unit number four and the final test. If you finish that one, that is not that much. Everything is going to be fine. And maybe I'm going to chat here on the group with Alejandra Michelle. So she realizes that she has to finish because she has done only a few things. Let me just type her. Okay. Just to be sure that she is aware. And just do that.
Okay. Eric, I need to catch my glasses, okay? Go ahead. Okay. All right, all right. So let's see, let's see. Right, so we're going to check the attendance. Uh, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present teacher. Good. Alejandra Michelle Hueso Naje. Present teacher. Oh, you're here. Alejandra, I was uh, typing you on the group. You need to finish the platform tonight. If you don't finish at midnight, the platform is going to be closed and you won't be able to finish. And if you don't finish that, you won't be able to go to the next level. So it's very important that you finish tonight the platform, okay? Very, 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 very important. Yes, teacher, I do uh, tonight. Perfect, perfect. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, so uh, Ana Selmi Chavez. Edwin Alexander Ayala Eraso. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Okay, you're Edwin, not Gloria, right? <laughs> good, good. Let me just check here. Okay, uh, Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Maybe Coromoto García de Calderón. What she said, I see. Manuel Antonio Palma. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Ok, be careful, Rosa Elena. Eh, Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Present teacher. Good. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present, good evening. Good evening. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present. Perfect. So, very nice. Present, teacher. I am here. Yeah. I am back. Here, teacher, Gloria. Okay. Very good. Perfect. That's good. Okay. So, tonight is the last class, and we're going to check a little video. At 8.35, we're going to start the survey from INSAFO. So, please be ready with the information that you got on the email. So you can copy and paste, okay? But anyways, we're going to check into that one at 8.35. So by now, we're going to see a video. Excuse me, Eric, did, did I understand well? Did you said about an email? Yeah, on an email, they send you oh, uh, the information. Yeah, I, I got in WhatsApp. Yeah, they send an email and in WhatsApp, in both. Okay, I can do also in my WhatsApp. Well. Or is better in email. Let me tell you, sometimes what you need to do is to copy and paste the information so everything is exactly, because this is very important and that is the reason why we do the survey here in the class. If you put a period more, all the survey is invalid and you cannot go to the next level. So it's very important. That one. If you do it on the cell phone, it's possible. My recommendation for you is to copy all the message paste it on Word or in Notes, because if you uh, want to copy just a little part of the message, it's not possible in, in, a, in the survey, right? So that will be it, only that. Okay, so we're gonna watch a little video. Uh, this is a good one. This is about how to be fluent in English. Let's see how it goes. Let's see here. Okay, here we go. Hi, I'm Oli. Welcome to Oxford Online English. In this lesson, you can learn how to speak more fluently in English. 
How long have you been studying English? Do you find that sometimes, even though you study hard, you can't speak fluently? Do you learn lots of grammar and vocabulary, but you find it difficult to make sentences when you speak? In this lesson, we're going to talk about fluency and what you can do to change this situation and improve your English fluency. Part 1. What is fluency? Sometimes, when people talk about fluency, they just mean speaking a language well. For some people, speaking English fluently just means having a good general level of English. However, fluency is more specific than that. Fluency means you can speak smoothly without stopping or hesitating. There are two sides to fluency. One side is physical. Your mouth needs to produce and connect English sounds and words in a fast, smooth way. The other side of fluency is mental. Your brain needs to find the right words and build English sentences quickly and smoothly. To improve your fluency, you need to work on both sides, physical and mental. But first, part two, rule number one, get out there. There are many things you can do to improve your English fluency. However, if you want to become more fluent, there's really one thing you have to do. Get out there and speak English. Talk to people and have conversations regularly. Nothing else you can do is as important as this. Reading English will improve your reading. Practicing listening will improve your listening. But what about speaking? Nothing will help your speaking except speaking. Speaking English is a practical skill. It's not an academic subject. It's not something you can learn from a book. It's more like doing a sport or playing a musical instrument. You need to practice regularly to make any progress. How regularly? As often as you can. There's no maximum but I'd recommend you need to spend at least two to three hours a week speaking English if you want to improve. So how can you do this? Go to classes, talk to expats or foreigners in your city, join groups or activities with English speakers, find a conversation partner online, do a language exchange. There are many possibilities. By the way, what you do doesn't have to be language focused. You can go to English classes to practice your speaking, but anything you do which is in English and which will make you speak English is just as good. I'm going to take a guess here about what many of you are thinking right now. But I don't have people to talk to. But I'm shy. But it's too difficult. Let's talk about these things quickly. Part 3. Get used to pressure. Speaking a foreign language is hard. Situations which would be easy in your language can feel difficult in another language. Situations which would feel difficult in your language can feel almost impossible when you have to do them in a foreign language. That's how it is. It's easy to imagine when you start learning another language that you'll reach a point where everything is easy and comfortable. But unless you live in a foreign country and live completely inside that culture, that won't happen. Trust me, I've studied several languages at this point in my life. I speak some of them quite well, but it never feels easy or comfortable. Why are we talking about this? I'm trying to motivate you to go out and speak more, practice more. To do that, you have to accept that it will feel difficult uncomfortable and intimidating a lot of the time. That's how it is. Don't let it stop you. You can still practice, you can still communicate and you can still improve. I'll give you an example of this from my own experience. I hate making phone calls in another language. I don't know why, but I find it particularly intimidating. I guess because I can't use context or facial expressions or anything like that to help me understand or communicate. I lived in Russia and I studied Russian. I hated making phone calls in Russian. Then I lived in China and I studied Chinese. I hated making phone calls in Chinese. Now, 
I'm studying Greek. Guess what? I hate making phone calls in Greek too. It still feels just as difficult and just as intimidating. I haven't learned any tricks to make it easier. All I've done is that I accept that this is how it feels. That's it. I still do it because I have to sometimes. I just accept that I'm going to feel nervous or uncomfortable and I have to speak and communicate anyway. And I do. It doesn't stop you. Feeling nervous does not stop you communicating. This will be the same for you sometimes. It might be phone calls. It might be something else. The key point, you have to accept and learn to deal with that pressure. Don't think it feels scary, so I won't do it. It won't feel less scary in the future. The only way to make it easier is to go out and do it. If you do that, you'll feel more confident. It will get a little bit easier with time. Okay, so now you know the most important point about fluency, but is there anything else you can do to practice? Yes, there is. Part four, speed reading. Find a text in English. It can be something from a textbook, from a newspaper, from a blog, or anywhere. The text should be fairly easy for you. Don't choose something with a lot of new words or something which is way above your current English level. Sit down with a timer, read the text aloud, time yourself. Now, read it again. Try to beat your previous time. Keep going like this. See how fast you can read the text. What's this for? Well, remember that part of fluency is physical. Your mouth needs to produce English sounds and English words fast and smoothly. Speed reading like this is a good way to practice that side of fluency. This way of practicing is really useful because you can do it almost anywhere and you can also do as much or as little as you have time for. You can do five minutes practice or 15 minutes or half an hour. It's all helpful. Let's see another good technique like this. Part five, using songs. Find a song in English. Choose something which you like. Find the lyrics online. If you don't know where to look, just put the song title and the word lyrics into Google. You'll find them. Play the song, read the lyrics, sing. Like with speed reading, this is a good technique to practice the physical side of fluency. When you sing a song, you have to go at the speed of the song. Start with slower songs, then choose faster ones. Try to choose something that's possible but challenging. So you can sing the song, but it's difficult to go fast enough. Again, this will really help with your physical fluency. It's also easy to do. You can do one song a day, and I promise you, you will feel a difference quite quickly. I used this technique a lot when I was learning Chinese, and it really helped. Speed reading and singing songs are good for physical fluency, but what about the mental side of fluency? Let's see what you can do to improve that. Part six. Learn language in chunks. Here's a question. How do you learn vocabulary? When I see students learning vocabulary, often it looks like this. People write down the English word, the translation in their own language, and then they try to memorize it. Okay, but what does that have to do with fluency? Think about it. If you learn language like this, you're making your brain do things in a very unnatural and complicated way. First of all, you're learning each word individually, but when you speak a language, you don't need individual words. You need phrases and sentences. Secondly, if you do this, you're learning English through your own language. You're not learning to speak English. You are trying to learn to translate your language into English in your head. So does this sound familiar? You have a sentence in your head in your own language. You move through the sentence, translating each word into English. If you don't know the translation of a word, 
you get stuck, you feel bad about your English, and you stop speaking. You need to break this habit if you want to speak fluently. First of all, this way of thinking and speaking is always slow. It will always be slow because you're trying to do too many things at once. You're trying to think and remember things in two languages. It's too difficult for anybody. So what can you do? We said before that you need phrases and sentences when you speak. So learn language in phrases and sentences. For example, imagine that someone asks you, what are you doing this weekend? Look at three answers. I'm going to see some old friends. I'm thinking of going for a bike ride. I might do some odd jobs around the house. Now, make your own sentences. I'm going to mm. I'm thinking of mm. I might mm. Try to make two or three sentences for each one so that you use different endings. Now think, if someone asks you this question, what are you doing this weekend? If you remember language in big pieces, you only have to remember two things. I'm going to see some old friends. I'm going to have dinner with my family. I'm going to watch some old movies. That makes it easy to respond to questions like this fluently. On the other hand, if you make a sentence in your head, in, uh, in your language, in your head, and then you translate each word into English, it's much more complicated. You don't just have to remember two things, you have to remember many things. So try to learn vocabulary in this way. Take a sentence like, I went for a walk yesterday. Keep the basic sentence form, but change part of it. I, mm, yesterday. Now, make two to three different sentences. I took an exam yesterday. I was lazy all day yesterday. I cooked a spicy curry yesterday. Now, practice and remember the sentences and phrases. This is a much more natural way to learn vocabulary. If you learn vocabulary like this, it will be much easier to respond fluently because you won't need to think in your own language and translate. You'll remember the whole phrases and sentences that you need. Okay, that's the end of our lesson. I hope you learned something about spoken fluency and how you can improve your fluency in English. You can find more free English lessons on our website, oxfordonlineenglish.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Okay, what did you understand on the video? What topics did you find interesting? Teacher, I think the many things he says, we, we do that. We speak, we learn new words, uh, we decay the time, two hours and the day, uh, listen music. I think I think Camo bien. <laughs> okay, we're going well. Okay, we're going well. <laughs> okay. Very good, perfect. So yes, I, I also believe that one. I believe that you are doing a very good job. Um everybody, everybody has a different level. And that is true in all the classes, I mean in all the groups, in this group. And the next group, in the previous group, everybody has a different level. So it depends on you as well. But first of all, when you come to the classes, you need to speak. That is very important. I just see that sometimes I say, who wants to say something? Or do you have an opinion? Maybe two or three people, they speak or four, but the rest, they don't speak. That depends on you. But if you really want to move on, you need to speak, right? The other thing is that the class is not enough. You need to practice by yourself, right? Listen to music, watch videos. At this level, uh, it's a very good idea for you to watch a movie. I mean, 
in English, only in English. But uh, see a movie that you yeah, that you saw already, one of your favorite movies you can see in English, and pay attention, okay? Because I mean, in that case, you know what is going to happen in the movie. Maybe you are not going to say, "Oh, I didn't understand that part." And, I don't know what's going to happen with the movie, right? So movies that are your favorites, you can watch only in English. Many things you can do, a lot of things, okay? So if you li uh, want to listen to music, listen to music and sing the songs. I mean, that is also important. Do a little karaoke there on Saturdays, right? After the lunch with your friends and your family, have fun. And that also is going to help you a lot in pronunciation and many other things. And also you can do many, many other things. I mean, I was telling you, I guess, uh, that in Google, if you create a document, you can go and there is an option that says dictate. If you can you click on that dictate and you said that in English, you can dictate to the to the word and you are going to see the words there. And if the pronunciation is not good, the word is not good. It's very simple. You can have a reading and breathe and one word, if, if it's not the word, that it says in the reading is because the pronunciation is not correct. So nowadays, the technology is very good and we can do lots of things. Any other opinion or comment on the video? It, uh, it was, may I? It was really interesting, you know, about to make him physical uh, fluency and mental fluency. Uh, I didn't uh, know it, and it was uh, also interesting that he has defined what is uh, to speak fluently English, you know, and it, it I think it's very, uh, I love to take notes, I always take notes. <laughs> it Good. was so that, uh, yes, uh, to speak English fluently, it's more meaning uh, to speak smoothly. It was a really nice expression and without hesitated, you know? And you, you need to have this feeling that I can't speak about. It doesn't matter what is the topic, you know? And it was really nice, the advice about, oh, we have, we have done with you, a speed read. We have done with you, a speed read and to learn the language in chunk. No, I, I hate to learn only words, you know? If I has a new word, I need to build sentences and I need to find more uh, meanings about it, you know? Because I, uh, for example, my husband, my husband loved to learn vocabulary. Thousand of words, but he doesn't make any sentences with it. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, he all the time he always sent me the uh, words new words new words you know but i love more uh, to learn expression phrases and it, i think it is a very good tip you know and yeah. uh, uh, by uh, any way to practice all the time you can do it you know definitely so there are little things that we can do uh i'm, I'm always bringing this kind of videos or topics to the last class because I want you to continue. I want you to to feel very nice when you're speaking. It's, that is very important. Yes. So uh, in that way, I mean, that's it. And what you're, uh, well, maybe what happens with your husband is that everybody, we we learn in different ways, right? So we need to understand the way that I learn. That is also very important. Any other comments or opinion about the video? Go ahead. And the, the video, I represent for me. <laughs> <clears throat> I think and always uh, outside the, the speaking, uh, the speak Spanish, and then uh, traduction and speak it English. Yeah. It's unnecessary uh, uh, to learn <laughs> Uh, orations, sentences, sentences, and complaints is a uh, a good tip for learning and for learning the English. And very true. Yeah, and and 
en en always en en de en son son people is a uh, watching the video is a uh, a uh, a practice a practice the the sense is is very good the 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 we can we can the videos we can the videos is a uh, for me is necessary is a sentence and complete okay yeah, Jeff. thank you thank you yeah for the comment that is true i mean uh i believe that everybody that is learning english sometimes or any other language you want to translate that is like something that happens to all of us but it's something that we need to we need to leave apart okay yes we need to understand some words the vocabulary and things like that one. but there is a time uh, that if you do that one you won't be able to understand because sometimes I mean, what we do when we translate from English to Spanish and vice versa is that we adapt the language. We, we don't, I mean, there is not that this word, the meaning of this word is this. I mean, the words, sometimes they have many usages. And then we have to understand the way that you are going to use the word. So that's why sometimes it's difficult. I mean, I say this is like this in Spanish and in English, and some people says, Ah, but I, I I understood that this was this word. I know what, why you're telling me this one. You know, for example, that there are words that they can be nouns or verbs at the same time or adjectives at the same time, like interesting, right? I am interesting in this class. That is a verb. But if I say you are interesting, that is an adjective. It's totally different. So... Those little things are the things that make difficult if you translate. So you don't have to translate. And also, as Rosa Elena said, uh, don't be afraid of do mistakes. We are going to make mistakes. That is for sure. I mean, American people that they speak only English, they make mistakes. Sometimes, I mean, we in Spanish, we, we sometimes we don't speak well, right? That happens. That is true. But if you, if you learn, from those mistakes, then you will be able to move on, right? So that is the thing, that is. The thing. So uh, we're going to check some other things later on, but by now what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the, on the uh, uh, survey from Insafor. So please be ready for that one. Uh, I guess that only my bay is the only one that is the first time, right? Yes, it is my first time. And okay. you know, my husband has phoned me, and he told that uh, he 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 has he hasn't got the survey in the email. So did I? I didn't got it, but I am going to copy from yeah, co my. Yeah, that is fine. Okay, I'm going to show you a little video for you to check what you need to do. Okay, so that is going to be uh, the first part. So here we go, my friends. Check it out. Como inglés corporativo, vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción de manera correcta. Vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico y la vamos a colocar en el punto número uno. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en información que hemos compartido y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a Inglés Corporativo. De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de celular. Posteriormente colocamos el sexo 
En el punto número 6 vamos a desplazar la flechita y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera, vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8 vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan colocarlo. En el nombre del proveedor vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Regal International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Lo seleccionamos y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocarlo tal cual está en la información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Vamos a copiar el número del curso y vamos a colocarlo. En el punto número 11, las evaluaciones que ustedes serán las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Las fechas de inicio de igual manera las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha compartido. En ese caso nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, según las fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo del curso. Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. Vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar. Y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a su enviado. Cuando ustedes han recibido este mensaje, por favor de tomar una captura de pantalla, compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo, según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Y es así como tú debes desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Okay, so we are going to check about that one right now. So the first step, my friends, is to open the, the survey. If you are on the computer, what I will do is I'm going to send you uh, there in the chat of here of Zoom the link if you want. So you can open it up, okay? So that is the first thing. If you open that already, well, yes, we are going to, I did. okay, good. So we're going to take the starting order. That is going to be all this number. If you want okay. to copy and paste, you can take it on the chat as well. I'm going to put it there on the chat. And the only thing that you need to do is to come to the number one and paste that number. Okay, it's on the chat, in the Zoom chat already. Okay, we're going to go and check uh, on every question if everybody finished. So, is there anybody still missing number one? ¿A alguien le falta todavía el número uno? No, es el número de la orden de inicio. No. That's fine, right? 
Okay, so in number two, we're going to uh, type or copy your whole name. The name, the complete name, the one that is according to do it, right? So enter your name, type your name. Capital letter or normal? Normal is fine or capital if you want, not a problem. Okay. Only check that is correct. Okay. Okay, okay, is there anybody missing, still not doing the number two? We finished number two, everybody? Okay, number three is going to be very easy as well, your email. Uh, preferably the one that you used to log in the platform, okay? Because that's the one that is here with us, but you can enter your email, that's it, okay? Has everybody finished number three email? Or is somebody missing? Okay, let's go to number four, your phone number. So just enter your phone number. You can enter that together, no dashes, okay? All together. Okay, has everybody finished number four, phone number? Okay, so now we're going to go to the number five, female or male. Just click on any of those and that's it. That's kind of easy. Okay, then number six. The number six, you just click on the pull down menu and look for the department where you live. Yeah, now with the new law, we have to change this one for the next one. So, okay. Has everybody finished number six? Yeah. Okay. In the number seven, you have to type, okay? In my case, for example, is Santa Ana, but you can type the one where you live, okay? Okay, has everybody finished number seven? Okay, for number eight, this is very important. We're going to enter the social name, the legal name of the company, La Razón Social. Okay, si no la sabe, me dice, yo con gusto se la digo ahorita. Pero si la sabe, simplemente la digo. Okay, porque hay compañías que tienen un nombre comercial y tienen una razón social o el nombre legal diferente. Hay que entrar el legal. Okay. Si alguien necesita el nombre, me dice, yo con gusto se los doy, como aparece. Okay, has everybody finished number eight? Okay, so let's go to number nine. This is also very important. Click on the pull down menu, scroll down, and then Inglés Corporativo Regal International. That's the one that you are going to click. And when you click that, that is it. You will be able to continue. Okay, has everybody finished number nine? Or do you need more time for that? Okay, so the name of the course, also you need to copy and paste, and it's going to be like this. This is the one, okay? I'm going to send it in the chat. If you want to copy it from there, you can do it as well. And then you just take it, copy, paste it, and that will be it. Okay. Has everybody finished number 10, the name of the course? 
or is anybody missing? Yes. Okay. So number 11 is about the survey itself, okay? Remember, this is about the methodology, uh, everything that we do in Inglés Corporativo. Nothing to, and it's not related with Insofor, the schedule, the book, or anything like that, okay? So you are going to come here and check the option that is the one for you, okay? So remember that you need to check the three ones, okay? Three, and then we are going to continue. Okay, has everybody finished number 11? Okay, so for number 12, we just need to go and check the date. The date that we started was the 15th, May the 15th. So we're going to click on this one and the calendar will appear. And then we're going to go back one month and click on Monday 15th. And that is sometimes, depending on the computer's configuration, is going to be 5, 15, 20, 23. That is fine, not a problem. Okay, has everybody finished number 12? Anybody missing? Okay. So the number 13 is going to be very easy because it's today, right? That, that is it. The, the day that appears there, you are just going to click onto that one. And again, it's going to appear like that. Okay, has anybody uh, missing this one? Have nope. you finished? No. Nope. Okay. I have already sent the 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 photo that the screenshot okay very good screenshot okay let me just finish here and then we're gonna check that okay okay so number fourteen are you satisfied or unsatisfied so click the one for you and that is going to be the only thing and for number fifteen and sixteen those are not obligation I mean if you want to enter any other course you can do it or you can leave it blank. The same for the number 16. If you want to send comments, you can send them. Or if you want to leave it blank, no problem. So then you click send. And then uh, we're going to take the screenshot or the, uh, or the picture and then send it to the WhatsApp. And I'm going to be checking here who has sent that away, OK? And I'm telling you that right now. If I don't say your name, it's because you still haven't, okay? I have Maybe Coromoto Garcia, Susana Hernandez, Carla Vázquez de Rivas, Walter Mauricio Morales, Ana Selen Chévez, Edwin Alexander Ayala, eh, Adriana Stephanie Martínez Flores, Rosa Elena Salgado, Manuel Antonio Palma, by now. Those are the ones. So, oh, I got right now Gloria Elizabeth Linares, Wendy Maribel, Ada Patricia Linares, okay. Uh, is there anybody missing? Let me just check. Silvia Soleim, I guess that you're missing. Yeah. I don't know if Adriana sent it over. Let's check. Oh, yeah, I got Adriana's. Yes, just missing Sylvia Suleima, I guess. And that's it. Oh, got it. Very good. Perfect. Okay, so my friends, we are going to continue. We are going to continue with the class. Nice. So since this today is Friday, is practice class. We're going to start with the three or two words that you have. Who wants to be the first one?
อ่าโนบาดีไอ I must say that I have not done uh, my my homework, but I must recognize that a lot of new work I have got from these courses. You know, it was really for me very enrichment to to attend your lecture uh, exercises. Okay, thank you very And much. I I refresh I refresh a lot of vocabulary. and I got a lot of new words too. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, that is the purpose, and I really appreciate your feedback. I mean, um, we are here to learn, and sometimes we need different strategies to learn, so uh, it's a very good thing that you are learning and fresh so many things. Very nice. Okay, anybody else uh, wants to share uh, homework? Okay, I'm going to choose them. Aha, let's see. Ada Patricia, you told me that you wanted to be the first. Teacher, and the words? Uh -huh. Okay, and the words in my case, in the first word is an dragogy. Andragogy? Andragogy, very good. Okay, it's typical andragogy means the understanding of the science. and practice of adult learning, synonyms, education. An example, some teachers prefer andragogy because they would rather teach adult students that, than children. Perfect. And the second word is a brush, um, a way of dealing with something, synonyms, Attitude and a slant perspective point of view. An example we need a whole new approach to the job. Only that. Very good, perfect. Thank you, Ada Patricia. Nice. Let's check now with Susana Hernandez. I teach it. I don't make my homework. Okay, no problem. I wanted but to ask you. But we can talk. We can talk if you want. Ah, we're going to do that in the next part. Okay, so by now only the words, but then we're going to speak. You are going to tell me what you want to speak about, and then we're going to speak with all the class. Okay, teacher. Perfect. Thank you. So, so, uh, Susana Beatriz. Sorry, teacher. Uh -huh. I can't. I can't do homework. You didn't do the homework. Not this. I see. Sorry. Everybody <laughs> forgot about me. That's not good. All right. <laughs> no problem. Thank you very much. No. Uh, let's see then, Manuel Antonio. All right, good, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, I haven't uh, the specific meanings, teacher, but uh, as you know, we uh, in a previous class, we, we were talking about uh, these different terms. For example, uh, micro learning. Micro learning. I'm uh, sorry, micro learning. Yes, uh, it refers teacher uh, when, for example, in a company, have um, have necessary to uh, to to continue uh, in uh, the process uh, for training a personal in. Uh, when, for example, have a new, new product, a new service. Uh, in my company, yes, uh, this is the method to uh, to engage uh, the the team force. 
uh, yes, uh, this is an example of micro learning. When there is a new pros, a new, a new, a new product. Okay. And the next is uh, ongoing, ongoing, ongoing. Yes. Uh, talking about uh, training is uh, the. This is the 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 process that every company should should have uh, for the employees. Uh, you know, uh, searching the the to have new uh, aspect for the uh, for the training of of employees, and is uh, the uh, maintaining the 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 training for the for the employees ongoing okay. and the last one is hands hands of hands on training i i like this 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 phrase or this term because uh, uh, for example uh, it's a it's a like an, an encourage right but because there are there are many uh, kind of uh, trainings but uh, so then suddenly someone said oh and Oh, again a new training, but I I I I think every opportunity uh, we have to to improve our knowledge, and uh, yes, for me is is a very a very nice uh, is a is to to get this this uh, this chance, and I, I say okay, get a move on, hands on training. Okay, That's very it. good. Perfect, thank you. Those were very interesting. Okay, now we're going to check with, uh, well, I see that Rosa Elena sent the words of it, so let's listen to her. Okay, no worries, no worries. Let's see them with uh, Wendy Maribel. What teacher? Yeah, we need a hundred dollars. <laughs> no, really? it's not true. <laughs> <You're sorry. No. laughs> you were like what what you saying no 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 <laughs> uh the three words do you have the three words for tonight oh my three words <gasps> oh, sorry teacher i don't remember okay um so. Mm -hmm. I don't prepare. So you don't have any words? No, teacher, I don't. Um, okay. No worries, no worries. That is fine. Okay. Okay. And in, in this moment, Okay, no worries, no worries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank All you. right, let's see then with Anna Salmi. Um, teacher, for this week, I I was learning about the different phrasal fra verbs. Okay. Um, for example, I I I am practicing, practicing, practicing yeah. about that. Um, the first verb I I is um give give up. Uh, the the meaning the give up is um in, in the example the never give up. The the is don't never renounce renounce mm -hmm. um renounce 
o surrender live. or live. Yes, or live is empower there for me. The keep up, um, dress up. This this other is in my mind is uh, the 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 very dress is wear wear. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the fraser name in verb is a uh, dress up dress up a uh, give up uh, the other fraser name hmm? i don't remember I, I am trying to 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 practice for this week I, i'm sorry i don't remember sorry. but in a um, sentence, uh, I I look at teacher. Okay, yeah. Look at the a message ah, okay. with that Brazil Brazil verbs, and it was impact for me. But I need to 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 um, research. The, the message and share with, because uh, I am trying to practice specific phrasal verbs this week, teacher. I don't remember the number three, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no worries, two are okay. Very good, thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's see with Gloria Elizabeth. Mm, of course. Oh. Um, uh, number one, which is masculine name, car, car game of British original similar to bridge, played between two pairs, and of which there are numerous variants. Example, mm -hmm. Which kind of card game and I only that. Oh, okay, perfect. Very interesting. Thank you. Uh let's see Sylvia Soleima. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Um the first word is twilight. Um creo que así se pronuncia. Twilight. Yeah, twilight. twilight. Is a certain interval before sunrise or after sunset, during which the sky is illuminated. Twilight occurs because sunlight illuminates, illuminate, illuminates the upper layers of the atmosphere. The light is diffused in all directions by the air molecules which do the observe and illuminate the en entire environment. The second word is um, morning but um, matutino uh, is, is what develop or materialize, materializes at the beginning of the day, therefore receives the qualification of morning. And evening is an adjective that refers to that which belongs to or is related of the afternoon. The afternoon for its part is the second part of the day, start at noon and ends at sunset. Only, only teach. Very good, perfect, interesting. Thank you. Uh, let's see now uh, Walter Mauricio. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, I, I, I'm going to try to, to explain my words. Okay, go ahead. Okay, the first word that I said was advocates. Advocate means to support, 
or argue for a cause, policy, etc. Or so means to plead in favor of. The other word is auspicious. Auspicious is something described as auspicious is full of promise, showing or suggesting that future success or good results are likely. Auspicious can also mean at ended by good fortune. And the third one is anachronism. Uh, Anachronism is an error in which something in a movie, story, etc., is placed in a time where it does not belong. Anachronism uh, can also refer to a person or a thing that seems to belong to the past and do not fit in the present. Perfect. Thank you very much, Rose. Nice. Okay. All right. Uh, what? Uh... Are you able to, or it's maybe not possible? Sorry, teacher. I know, I was uh, asking if Walter can do that. Oh, sorry. All right. Okay, not possible for Walter. Te uh, teacher, uh -huh. uh, I write my work. Okay, go ahead, please. Uh, the first is budget. Budget. Is for money, money for needs. For example, uh, I need, I need a budget in my home. And other is Riddle. Riddle is a uh, mystery. Uh, he solved the riddle. In China, uh, for example. The star shines in the sky. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you very much. So let's check with Edwin Alexander. Good evening. Good evening. Um, well, um, I would uh, I will start with the word flexibility. Is the ability to make change or to deal with a situation that is changing. An example, okay, I will give an example. We need to be giving great, greater flexibility to use for resources. This is the first one. The, the second one is heading. Heading is the title at the top of the page or piece of writing. An example could be Mention your sources at the end under the heading by Rafferty. That is heading. Um, and another word that I really like because you you sound very natural at the time that you use in your normal speaking. It's hesitate. Um, hesitate is to pause before doing something or to do something very slowly usually because you are nervous, embarrassing, or worried. An, exam an example could be, uh, he hesitate at moment and then knock on the door. Uh, I think we, everyone here hesitate to do something because uh, actually yesterday I was, uh, I was uh, driving uh, a car and the semaphore, how do you say semaphore? The traffic light. The traffic light, he was going to put in red, and I had to take to, to pass the, the red line, so but I decided to stop, but I hesitate in something here. So it is, I like this word because it, 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 when you use these kind of words, your, 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 your fluency, it's more like, an, like, native speakers use normally in a normal day so that that's that is the reason why i i like the word and i would like to give my point of view about the video that we saw in the beginning of the class and uh, you know one thing that i do to learn uh, link english uh, i like to sing songs and i look the lyrics and i wrote i read their lyrics then i sing 
another thing that we do uh, with my daughter that she's 12 and she and she can speak better than me. <laughs> she's learning mm -hmm. more faster because I don't know how, but she's very smart, but she she learned by herself. And we do um we have um those platform uh, Netflix and uh, and what is the another one? Uh Star Plus and Paramount and we have Disney Plus too. So we what that we would do is when we're going to so, to see a movie, we change the language before the movie starts uh, to to turn in English. So in that way, the subtitles are in English too. We did we didn't put it in in Spanish because I uh, I saw a video that, that that is wrong. So what we do it to to see the, the the movie in English and the subtitles in English too. And that in this way, we are learning a lot of new words and and, and we we hear the the. The, the real voice of the of the of the of the, of the, of the, of the yeah and it really helps a lot so that, that that's all that's all this is that's what I want to say tonight. okay perfect thank you very much and thank you for your comments and your words as well very interesting nice uh let's see Adriana Stephanie Not possible. Alejandra Nachera. Not possible. Okay. So I guess we all did it uh, with the words. Now we're going to go to the second homework. That is to bring a topic so we can discuss with all the class about any topic. So uh, let's see. Susana Hernandez, you are going to be the first one. Okay, teacher. Okay. What would you like to speak with with us? With Anaselmi. Ah, okay, with Anaselmi. Okay, Anaselmi. You are the lucky one. No, but I want to tell you something to Anaselmi. Ah, okay. Because she is, she is auditora. Auditor, an auditor. Auditor. Oh, sorry. And I said, Anaselmi, I want to we are working on implementing the invoice electronic. Not yet. Then, Here, no, Susie. No, we are we are prepared for that. We are working um, in yes. in recopulate information. Many people don't know. Some many people don't know this this topic. Many many doctors say. It's not my turn, it's just my turn in the case. And uh, I think it's a good topic, a good advantage. And we will um, save a lot of paper. Yeah. But it's difficult, but it's difficult because the people know, know about it. Yeah, because it's a shame the process related to the issue of invoice now the the way is electronic document related to the invoices mm -hmm. yes it's the new and there are new platform platforms yes. related to the the um the minister administ administ uh, tax administ uh, administration administrator tax teacher uh, tax management tax tax management mm -hmm. about the tax management but in in that moment there are a uh, pilot companies with that project but in the close future, a lot of company, the uh, they have to to enter, and because it's a compliance, it's a compliance, and it's true. In that moment, there are a lot of questions related to that topic. 
Yeah, it's difficult for us. We make the, the information. Yeah, because the process is new. Yeah, for all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know about it, that teacher? Uh, well, I don't know how to implement that one, but I know that you can do that in an electronic invoice. I mean, there are many things. I mean, you know, technology is crazy. I was checking a video that in Japan, for example, people, they are paying with the hand, not with a credit card, with their hand, only like that. So you need to be ready to get the invoice with the hand, <laughs> to scan the hand and that's it, right? So, um, yes, everything, uh, as Anna Selmy says, uh, any changes are, are difficult sometimes because sometimes mm -hmm. the software or the testing uh, is not good. I mean, there are errors, there are problems, and that's why almost always the company that is setting that one is going to be there together so they can follow up on that one and then fix those little things and teach you what you need to do and what you need to, to tell to the people because sometimes people, the customers, they are the ones that they don't know what to do or anything like that one, right? So... That is it. So it's like a process. Everything is like that. So implementation is always kind of rough. Okay, very good. Thank you, Susanna. And uh, I don't you, know. Anna, go ahead, go ahead. You're welcome. No, thank you, Anna. Tell me. You're welcome. Okay. Very good. Perfect. So uh, um, let's listen to the topic of, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Susana Beatriz. Yes, teacher. Hello, how are you? How are you, teacher? I am very tired, but today is Friday. And tomorrow I'm going to wake up very late at 6 in the morning. So, the question for you is, what topic would you like to discuss with the class? Uh, the last class. Now, with um, this class, right now, right now, what topic would you like to discuss with everybody? I know class is uh, the tips for is a learning or fluent, speaking fluent English. Uh, yeah, but yeah, uh, video. you can, you can, uh, you can speak about any topic. Any any topic for for us to discuss on that one? Ah, it's a homework. <laughs> exactly, but you don't have to present anything. You just need to tell. I want to speak about I don't know movies or anything like that. Ah, okay, teacher. Uh, since sorry, I don't. Uh, I didn't. Uh, homework <laughs> because uh, I think. Uh, yeah, but that's what I'm telling you. You you don't need to do anything. You just need to tell me or tell the class. Let's speak about and then tell the topic, right? And then you can speak. Uh, okay, well, uh, well, I topic is uh uh today. Uh, today I I break I break um. Uh, to to is uh, postres desserts 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 and 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 fi and ultimamente teacher how do you say lately and lately lately I I I good like oh I like I like it uh break the specific uh, dessert uh, i i make i i i make um the the cheese the the cheese um the fr uh, strawberry cheese and a cheesecake a cheesecake a cheesecake uh -huh. um and fish yeah, two. Mm -hmm. hey. uh, um, because uh, two, uh, uh, I is today uh, 
the how the bird I my my darling. No way, mine. That is amazing. We yeah. are very close. Did you know that my birthday was on Tuesday? So she is the, my kind. She's going to be very good with English. Good. Yeah, yes. <laughs> a, I say I save the the the. I I I say sing a a. I don't know eh, the morning. No, it's a say a a, a pick up. Uh, or deliveries uh, in in a store, in break a store. Mm -hmm. okay. I I I make I my like or with um, like my family. Definitely, that's the best way, right? You do yes. those activities with your family. Uh, but uh, uh, this, uh, I think, I think, uh, learning in matriculator in is specific uh, class the in in Nidka. Ah, uh, okay. in the other month other month yes. next month good very good next month. yes uh -huh. Interesting. Uh, 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 i make or oh, i think uh, is a a new new what do you say emprendimiento entrepreneurship in Chaplin. I don't know. <laughs> that is very good. Yeah, you know, food is amazing. And when you cook, it's also very good. And to eat is also very nice. So I believe that that is going to be very, very good. Yes, it's a, a I think, a, a, I don't know. A, a tomorrow is a future. I don't, a, I don't work. I don't work in, in office. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, it's in, Very it's nice. in my <laughs> <laughs> good thank you for sharing that with us and uh, thank you for the topic you saw that it was very easy right okay thank you <laughs> okay let's check with Gloria Elizabeth okay teacher vamos a ver Today, I will tell you about the traffic that we have, have been experiencing for a month in my office. I work for the Gimnasio Nacional. Okay. The, the strip are closer mm -hmm. uh, to the remod, remodeling. Remodeling, remodeling for, yeah. Remodeling for the Central American Games. Oh, and, the, and the traffic is intense all day. I have to leave the vehicle, the, the car, the car in the office parking uh, because we can get up uh, without problems. A very, very fun anecdote in which in trailer passed, but um, in the, you know, that the stream is narrow and the hell could not turn. Around six policemen arrived to try to get uh, the car that uh, we're baking up to give uh, uh, the necessary space for the trailer. Oh my goodness, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, it, it took an hour for other cars to transit again. Again. It may be, it may be that uh, this is success as a country, but uh, the necessary measures are not taken so that the that this small and big problems arise. Yesterday, a car ran over a little dog, and since it's very, very full, he thought he thought that no one would take the trouble to help him. But I got to 
I got out uh, and went looking for a policeman to stop him. And when they stopped, I returned to my car that uh, I have left alone, which was in light. And you can, Im and you can I imagine it, imagine the traffic. Uh, many applause that I had gotten off to file the complaint. Okay. Only that. <laughs> that sounds that sounds interesting. Uh, let me yes. ask you. Uh, for the games, all the disciplines, all the games are going to be there in, at the gym, or is going to be in different places. In different places. Okay. By any chance, do you know if? Uh, by any chance, do you know if some games are going to be held in Santa Ana or is it going to be only San Salvador? Only San Salvador. Okay, very good. Interesting. Interesting to know that you work at the gym, so whenever I want to go to a concert, I'm going to look for you. Ah, it's a joke. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. All right, we're learning lots of things here. Nice. Okay, let's see. Now we're going to speak with... Wendy Maribel. Okay, teacher. Okay. Other, other favorite topic is um, I teach I teach a uh, a group of children in English in the church in neighborhood Emmanuel neighborhood. Uh, I I teach I teach Bible with other two persons more. Um, I like teach the children in the church and in the neighborhood too. Um, neighborhood, Emmanuel neighborhood. Uh, the president have a D U B O uh, in Spanish Cuba. It's interesting. And uh, we we will the opportunity. We have, we have, have the opportunity of evangelist teach the Bible. This is the Bible and evangelic. Uh, how do you say evangelizar? Uh, that is preach. Preach. Okay, preach. Uh, it's interesting. Teach uh, of the children uh, in the church. I teach Bible. Uh, the children uh, five and six years old of oh, the children the, in in this age um, I like so much this the the children are are loving uh, hold me and and how them hold hold them hold them uh, the the children are loving uh, their their teachers or their sister and brothers, whatever. And our first part uh, in the class, we pray with God. And in the second part, uh, we sing Christian praises and we collect offering. Uh, the we collect offering, no, not necessary more money. Is only we collect an offering to thank God, uh, the blessing received, received mm -hmm. in 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 the life of the children in the in in and their teachers or their person, uh, person of teach the the Bible. Uh, we learn learn Bible verses and. Game, game. For example, repeat, uh, repeat only girls, only boys, or or repeat, uh, cross cross the arms or a close. No. Uh, how do you say applaud it? Uh, that is clap. Clap. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Uh, clap. Clap and repeat the verse, the Bible verse, for example. Or jump and repeat the verse. 
oh, it's, it's very funny. <laughs> it's the part is very funny with the, with the children. Uh, road, uh, jump the road, or what else? It's activities of oh, learn Bible verse. Uh, we like uh, learning learning the verse, the Bible verse. And finally, we teach Bible lessons and uh, uh, read read the Bible and uh, speak with other other words or the same words or the the words uh, uh, best explication for for the children for learn the, the children. Uh, it is beautiful work. <laughs> For children. <laughs> very interesting. Very good. Perfect. Thank you for sharing that one. Yeah, it's very nice. It's working with kids is very good. It's very interesting. Uh, it's amazing because they love you. It doesn't matter what happens, right? <laughs> All right. Let's listen now to Ada Patricia. Okay, teacher. Hi, excuse me, teacher. My sister not uh, quit the volume. The volume. Uh, and for for eso se escucha ese ese feedback. Yeah, the feedback is because of the uh, there's maybe a, a like uh, yeah I, I understand the word. Okay, continue with the theme of the video. We we watch it. At this time, it's very important to study the English language. It is become an the obligation to able the, to develop, develop in society. It's important to use and help and help you in any method to be able to learn the language. Either listen. Listening to music, watching video, and reading books in English. The important thing is to practice, practice, practice. Okay. Only that. Yeah, with the facts. It's like a mystery, right? We need to practice, practice, practice. It's very nice. Okay, yeah, that is true. Uh, you can do many things, but the most important is to practice. And there are only two steps, learn and understand, and then practice. The second one is the most difficult because you need to put some time into that one. But it's one of the most important. Very good. Let's listen now to well, Anna Selmy. Hi, teacher. Hello. Mm. I don't have the, the prepared the specific topic for today, teacher. I'm sorry. No worries. Perfect. Sorry, no worries. Teacher. Okay, let's see then with Edwin Alexander. Hello. Hello. Um, well, I would like to talk about, um, you know, uh, everyone uh, here in El Salvador, uh, we fight with uh, the traffic road and the conditions uh, of the road in El Salvador, especially here in the cities in El Salvador. I don't know, Santana has a lot of traffic too, right? Yeah, not good. Uh, yeah, so... But uh, if we, we, we if we compare to another countries like for example United States they have freeways and a lot of roads the, okay. with the, with the good conditions with the good conditions and everything um, here uh, in Salvador is providing for general refers reference but but we need a uh, more uh like traffic uh, more education because i think uh salvador has lack the people has lack of education in in things like 
the traffic rules or, and regulations and inconsistence uh, about traffic loads. And we need to practice more of this. But what the real problem, uh, I think, is that we live in a, in a small country with a small road and there is a lot of cars uh, in every every year from other countries they enter more cars and we don't if we don't uh, uh bmt don't uh no saca uh, the old cars you know so they they stay so that's that's the uh that's one of the problem about the traffic here you know what every day the traffic is getting worse and you know I, I i do have i have a motorcycle and i have a car too but actually i prefer to use my motorcycle because i avoid a lot of traffic i to be honest i i went in the middle with a lot of carefully because you know i know it's illegal but but it really helps me me to get early to my job or, or I take more uh, less time to 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 my job you know um, but um, I think another thing that really can change everything you know here in the city there uh, the government put the cameras and they uh, put uh, the tickets they're going to be more higher than before so for all of this can change a little bit, but I don't think so. They're gonna resolve the pro the, tr the traffic problem. I think it is every day is getting to get more worse, and I don't know what we can do. If you know, probably we need to have patience when we are in the traffic. Yeah, you are. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, you are so right. Traffic is a big problem, and probably there is no solution of that one. So yeah, yeah. I mean, everybody wants to use their car. Everybody wants to go to certain places at the same time. Yeah, it's, it's a big problem. Uh, uh, and it's not possible to to build new uh, streets, new highways, because, I mean, you cannot destroy houses or buildings, right? So, yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is a big problem, so. Yeah, we don't have too much space. Yeah, that's true. I, actually, I have a motor bike as well, and I really, really uh, prefer that one. Yeah, so. and, 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 it's, and it's nice, no? Yeah, that is true. But when, when it's not raining. <laughs> yeah, that is a big problem when you're in a motor bike. I'm thinking about that one because I'm using that one to go. Uh, you know, we have transportation for my job from Santa Ana to San Salvador, but I have to go to certain points so I can Go there. I'm using my car right now, and I would like to use my motorbike. But if it's raining, it's not going to be possible. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Let's listen now to, let's see, Rosa Elena. I don't know, teacher, if my if my topic it will be extravagant. I think. <laughs> Because uh, lately I was watching a uh, series and the movie about Chernobyl, okay. and yeah, I I like the I like the topic. Uh, the Chernobyl dis disaster uh, was a nuclear accident that occurred on April twenty six, uh, in nineteen eighty six, at the number four reactor in the Chernobyl nuclear power plant near the city of Pripyat in the north of the Ukrainian uh, Russia in the Soviet Union. Uh, followed the world the worst worst ever civil nuclear incident. It is one of only two nuclear energy accidents rated at seven the maximum severity on the international nuclear even the scale, the other being uh, in 2011, the Fukushima nuclear disaster in Japan, when the, uh, the initial emergency response together with a later uh, contamination of the environment involved more than 
a half million personnel and cost an estimated 18 billion the rubies. A ruble is around 68 billion in 2019, adjusted for the inflation. I like this topic. Uh, it's a disaster, but uh, watching the movie and the series, uh, it's very interesting. It's very interesting how uh, a human uh, mistake uh, can, do, can do that. Uh, because it was, it was a, it was a mistake. It was a human mistake, and it was very, very, uh, uh, it was a, a, a disaster that uh, killed many, many people. The radiation was incredible. Uh, oh my God, I like it. I like it, but it was a disaster. Yeah, but yeah. I like this topic. That was my topic. Very good. Actually, that is a very good topic, and you are right. I mean, there are many things that we can discuss about that one. For example, I mean, if you are using a knife all day long to work or to play with that one, definitely something dangerous is going to happen. You are going to get damaged. So that happens with these kind of things, that they are, like, dangerous. And if you don't, if people are not careful about that one, definitely I mean, something is going to happen, right? And... Uh, well, I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but yeah, that we have to learn from those mistakes, right? We need to, to know what uh, what can happen if we are not prepared for this kind of situation. It was a big disaster as far as imagine nowadays the, the city is closed because of the radiation. Uh, it's it continued. There is a radiation in the in the in the environment. Imagine how many years ago and the contamination is is already at the in the in the environment. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be like a hundred years, right? That's going to be like that. So I mean it's crazy. Uh, and I mean am I if that happened in an accident, am I right now that they are saying Russia and Ukraine. Ah, if you don't do this, I'm going to send you a, an atomic bomb or something. I mean, that's crazy, right? And that affects everybody. So I we hope that doesn't happen. Yeah. I I I also watched like a, a mini a mini series about that one. It was shocking. It was I mean all the mistakes they made in everything. Uh, I mean that caused a lot of a lot of deaths. And a lot of sick side. It was not. nice. Uh, very good. Let's listen now to my bay. Not possible. Let's see then. Yes. Uh, Silvia Suleyma. Okay, teacher. Um, the topic is cause of fever in children. Most fever are caused by common viral infection that go away on their own, such as the common cold. Sometimes the cause of fever in children can be something for uh, something more serious, uh, such as an ear, bladder, or kidney infection. Rarely, a uh, fever can be a sign of a serious illness, such as meningitis or sepsis. Fever in children or fever in one year all babies can something occurs as a symptom of a specific condition rather than the result the result of an infection. For example, blood certain autoimmune disorders can cause 
fever. In such case, the fever in the ch child lasts longer than a than that associated with an infection. How long can a fever last in a child to prevent what causes the fever? If it is a viral or bacterial infection, so there is no estimate time. Um, fever in child in children can also often be a side effect of some childhood ba vaccines. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Yeah, vaccine. Okay, only oh, teacher. Okay, very good, interesting topic. So it's it's dangerous also, right? But um, I mean, there are uh, a lot of things that we can do to to avoid this thing. Uh, let me ask you: Is the same the same causes that happens with animals, for example, with dogs, things like that? Do you know anything about that? Excuse me, I don't know the reason. Uh, yeah, I was wondering if the same happens with animals, with like dogs, anything like that. Maybe not. Sorry. Okay, no worries, that's fine. Good, let's listen now to Adriana Stephanie. Not possible. Walter Mauricio. Okay. okay. The topic the topic is uh against the against the American and Caribbean Center in celebration of the the next week and in our country. It's a benefit. It's a benefit, and and when the demonstration, and that uh, we are the country different. Uh, a all country. Uh, in the case, and we can uh, it show the a new place, the country. Uh, and I can see teachers and the new government is uh, different out there. And, and we had a uh, opportunity new, uh, for example, a celebration the American and Caribbean Center and celebration the Miss University, and then and then uh, 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 I don't remember the celebration. And the 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 games is a uh, 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 he showed the the friends the front and and. And the rest, the countries, and they, and they see a, a, a all country is different. I believe in, um, in my country. <clears throat> it's a, a different issue. And I remember in all my time, and um, and my friends, I know going to the the other department, <laughs> mm -hmm. and there are and there are ones and there are time. Excuse me. And this time, uh, I go to the visit, and when when the place. I won't like the visit. <laughs> it's a, a, a benefit then the my point the the see the look is a good 
is a good uh, a good benefit. Um, how do you say puede significar? It can mean. It can mean is a, a other country and they are a, a good loot in the country. Impossible is a the, the invert, invert, invertation inverting? Invest. Invest at the at a new and a, a new business. I don't know. It's my meant. Okay. Okay. Let's Perfect. Finish. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're right. Oh. The country has changed. I mean, it's very good. You know, uh, sometimes I go in the past uh, in San Salvador. It's not that common, but when I go there, I see that the people they are listening to music, using their cell phones. Very nice. In the past, that was not possible, right? You are afraid that somebody was going to get your things. But now it's different. Many things have changed. And I also believe that the world is changing in many ways. I mean, technology is moving a lot. The world is crazy. I believe that many things are going to change for the future. Let's hope it's for the better, right? But definitely the economic system is going to change. Uh, the political system is going to change. So many things are not going to be the same anymore. Uh, bad things also are coming. I mean, we know that food and water is going to be hard to get them. Um, the population in the world is increasing as well. I mean, we don't stop. Yes, we have decreased the way that we reproduce ourselves, but there are a lot of things to do. So we need to be ready for those new things that are coming. And also, of course, part of that change is to, to learn new, a new language, to continue uh, using English. So this is a very important part. So it's very important for, for me and for you as well to continue practicing. Remember that we're going to be with no classes, maybe one or two weeks. Let's hop only one or two weeks. I know that you had a lot of time without the classes, but I'm very sure that if you uh, send the papers uh, for Insafork, I believe that you are going to be there. So it's important that in these days that you are not in class to continue practicing. Find a way, okay? Watch videos, sing songs, write something in a paragraph book or anything like that. Anything that you can do is going to be very good for you. So it's important to continue. You can do it. You're almost there. As I was telling you before, everybody has different levels. And that's not bad. The only thing that you need to do is to, to improve in some things. There are different skills. I mean, speaking, listening, reading, writing. Those are the most basic. In one of those, you are very good. Maybe reading, maybe writing. In one of those, you are not that good. The most common is speaking, right? So you need to practice that one, okay? You need to practice the one that you are not good at all. Practice that one, and you are going to improve. So I know that you can, I believe in you. You are very good, you are amazing. So please don't stop continue because the world is changing and then uh, this is not a fashion anymore this is a necessity so we really need to to continue this finish the module and, and even when you finish the classes all the classes you need to continue right there are many ways many many ways okay and for me it's a pleasure to be part of your learning uh, part of those little things uh, so uh, don't stop that is that is the most important thing here okay don't stop I know that life is difficult there are problems uh, sometimes I mean difficulties come but everything has a solution okay everything every single thing some days are bad 
So we need to finish that day, those days very fast. Go to bed and sleep. And next day is going to be a different opportunity. So let's do that, okay? Do not quit. Please continue on that one. My friends, this is the end of this class and the end of the module. It was very good to be here with you. I hope I can see you again, maybe next module or maybe the other modules. But if not, okay, uh, I know that you are going to do a very good job. Enjoy your life. Enjoy everything. Every day is amazing. And uh, dream in English. So I'm going to check the attendance. Thank you, and teacher. Always a pleasure. Oh, I like <laughs> your class. Thank you, teacher. Oh, it's amazing for me to be here with you as well. Thank you. Take teacher. a picture. Thank you. Yeah, we can take a picture on that one, right? Well, let me just do it here. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Uh, but some people they don't have the camera, right? Ah, here it comes. I'm sorry, Rosalena. Maybe. Thank you, teacher. Here we go. Ah, here comes Walter. Let's see. Okay, Walter. <laughs> okay, I got. I got it. Very good. Perfect. So, my friends, let's check the attendance and then let's go to bed. Ada Patricia Linares Galdamez. Present teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Alejandra Michelle Hueso Najera. Present teacher. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erasu. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Carla Veronica Vasquez de Rivas. Maybe Coromoto Garcia de Calderón. Manuel Antonio Palma. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Ah, good, perfect, good night. Uh, Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Present teacher. Good. Thank you. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Arau. Present. Good. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present. Perfect, my friends. This is it. This is the end. So, have a very good night. Rest very well. Continue practicing English and see you around. Okay, bye-bye. Blessings. Thanks see for all, teacher. It was a pleasure. Nice to meet you, class guys. Nice see you. <laughs> good night and farewell. Good night. <laughs>